Hi everyone, welcome back again to my channel. My name is Sharif and today I'm going to show you guys my very first project and what I learned um, throughout my project. And yeah, let's go. So my app is called the Timer app. I'm sorry of the lame name, lol. Basically, the main functionality of this app is, is to record an event upcoming event that you're going to do or going to happen and then it'll give you notifications when the event happened so apparently it's only accepting dates so there's no time so yeah this, this is pretty much it a very simple interface where there's a list of events that are going to happen there's an add button where you click so it's going to give you a type your event let's say uh, I don't know whatever and then you select your dates month year and it will pop up in the list and when the day comes it will give you notifications but apparently it's not coming out uh, but yeah let's that put it aside the project took me like one month well to be honest you can actually make it in one week or four days at most it's just because uh in the in the time frame i was actually learning web development also so it kind it kind of tangled up my timetable which is pretty bad so I use Flutter as my front end and also my back end will be my Firebase which is actually not really a good choice you should actually just use it as locally because if you don't have any because if you don't have any internet you cannot access your list which is not good so anyway so from the project that I did I learned a lot of stuff so first thing you need to do is to plan your project meaning your uh, how the design is, your functionality that you want to implement. For example, in this app, I need to implement the add functionality, the list, um, the delete functionality, notifications. So being able to um, divide these implementations, you can actually make your work more efficient. Being able to identify these functionalities, able to divide, you're able to efficiently work without ever tiring up yourself. We're moving on to the next point, which is to able to divide your time carefully. If you're working with a project, and especially if you're working alone, uh, rest is a vital thing that you should have. Sleep uh, or doing something else like watching Netflix or whatever, YouTube videos, you need to rest. Because doing so, when doing a project like continuously without stop is, will be very tiring, especially to your brain. If you ever feel tired, uh, if you feel like you're lost, Take a step back and rest. And the third one is to always, always read the documentation of any packages, any anything that you're using in, on the internet because documentation is your friend and is always updated to the latest ones. Well, of course, videos also can help you in the YouTube uh, tutorials out there, but always, always refer to your documentation because it's your best friend. And last and not least is to never give up on doing the project anything you can think of on an app is possible it's just that um, the way you're searching on it like in google how you search you type the thing that you want uh, it's kind of hard to find it but you should not give up yep first time is always hard but once you get the hang of it you know what you're going to do you know how a, pack, a, a package works how to implement it it's going to be super easy next time you're using it so one way to actually able to do it is to start small don't start too big don't be too ambitious for example this app this app is super simple and the only problem that i actually encountered when developing this app was implementing the notification function nowadays so yeah so yeah start small and then you can go bigger and more ambitious time to time Alright, so that is all from me. Thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you like it. Um, feel free to give a thumbs up and comment if you have any questions. Um, do check out my videos where I post vlogs, um, some random programming stuff, and also tutorials. Alright, thank you very much. See you guys again. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Assalamualaikum. Bye bye.